at the most that I filmed a video because I've been super busy at work and I just have been going through like a funk like a phase I don't know was it mercury retrograde I don't know but sometimes motivated moods where I just don't want to do nothing I don't want to do my makeup and you know where you just don't even want to get out of bed not depression either because you know I just where you start feeling like you like uh, <laughs> I'm horrible at describing things, but you get what I mean, kind of. But anyways, um, today I'm going to do a few tips on how I get out of that or slowly start to get back to normal. Got my Ariana shirt. So usually what helps me, and again, these aren't going to help everybody. These are just my tips and how I like help motivate myself. And sorry about this little piece of hair. I'm getting my hair cut. Anyways, that's another thing. I'll talk about it in a minute. But anyways, do stuff that makes you happy. Like for me, um, I like to go, like your hobbies, like buy merch, buy stuff, go to Build-A-Bear, that's what I do. Go buy makeup, do your makeup, you know? Try to find ways to Get yourself maybe if you're a more routine oriented person or if you have maybe anxiety even um, for me getting in like some type of routine helps me and makes me feel more like okay I gotta do this gotta do that um, like for me I like writing in a planner this is one that I got from Meyer you know got cute little bookmarks I love the monthlies in these you know I like writing down my work schedule. It helps me feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> and yeah, this is a two year one. It's from, it was $10 at freaking Meyer. You know, just go do that. Write down your week, write down what you think you have to do. And sorry, the, I'm addicted to the strawberry acai refresher with lemonade. I'm addicted, sorry. Um, do self care. For me, self-care is different for a lot of people. Like, there are so many different kinds of self-care. Like, for me personally, it is eating healthier because, as you know, I've been through eating disorders and I kind of go through binging eating disorder, you know, everyone's, I mean, I go back and forth on it. Like, right now, I've been doing pretty good at eating, like, normal meals and eating, not overeating, you know. And it's making me feel better, you know, some clothes fit better, you're not so freaking bloated. And it's just like, you know, I don't work out, honestly, because I work a lot. I'm lazy. <laughs> but uh, right now, the, I want to go to the gym soon, but for right now, it's just me focusing on how much I'm eating and just trying to keep myself balanced. So, that helps me a lot. Another thing would be... Um, you know, take some baths, do some face masks, do skincare. I love doing that stuff. Like, whenever I don't feel motivated, I don't want to do my hair. I don't want to put on makeup. I don't want to do my self care or my skincare, you know? And then my face starts getting all dry and looks off to me because I know. And um, it's just like start getting back into that routine of taking care of your skin, um, eat healthy. Um, take, use a bath bomb in your bath because it's fun and cute and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't always, obviously, that's just a fun thing. That's not going to help you feel better. I mean, it can for the moment, but, you know, it makes you feel like, oh, fancy and blah, blah, blah. Um, one that's random that I've thought about is, like, do something different. Do something to change your look, maybe, I've noticed. Dye your hair cut your hair get a tattoo get a piercing you'll feel better you'll feel cute and it's something new you know like for me on the 15th I'm chopping a lot of my hair off I want a little bob I my hair is down half my back I'm irritated by it I'm ready for something new I'm ready for new hairstyles 
and I'm getting my roots touched up, some more blonde, and yeah, I'm excited, and I'm ready for it, because long hair is annoying, and I am tired of it. Another one would be, you know, cleaning. Like, obviously, if you're not motivated, you don't want to clean, and so stuff starts getting piled up, and stuff gets dusty, and it's just, after a while, it looks cluttered, and so for me, I like to clean and organize, vacuum, clean the glass, declutter, give away stuff that you don't want anymore or don't wear anymore. Like for me, I know before fall, I am going to do a huge like closet declutter because like um, besides that fall is my favorite season, so most of my clothes are like fall and stuff. I have gained weight over the past two years like as time like I've gone up two pant sizes I wear like an extra large so like it's for me like I've been the same size for a lot like the past year now so like a lot of my older clothes are like worse from when I was smaller so obviously I don't wear it and obviously I don't plan on losing that much weight to be that size again because I'm not gonna be something I'm not I'm not gonna force myself to be small I'm done living like that I live my life I'm happy I, you know, it's just, I'm done. Read a book. Um, do your makeup, if you like that. Now for me, I used to love doing my makeup all the freaking time, but now I honestly do like a really light look most of the time. Like today I did like an extra light, but you know, I'm not going anywhere. I went to the mall and bought some jeans because my other ones ripped. Which, anyway, yeah. So, um, those are a few of my tips that help me. And, you know, just hang out with friends, hang out with loved ones, do stuff that makes you happy, listen to good music. And sometimes you'll just get better, you know, sometimes we just go through those times where we just don't feel like doing nothing and we just go through where you're just not motivated and those are just things that help me kind of start to feel motivated again obviously I'm not perfect like I can't tell you what to do and you'll be all better like, like I'm still trying to figure it out myself and after the mercury, mercury retrograde is finally over I'm finally starting to feel inspired again I love watching youtubers that inspire me oh yeah don't compare yourself like I know whenever I am feeling like crap I compare myself to a lot of other women and like obviously I'm not small I'm not huge like I'm not I'm just me and so like personally I love watching other women that I relate to like even though I'm not really plus size I mean I can fit I mean I can't believe a size 12 or 10 is like considered plus size anymore but I will get on that another day another day in the topic and um clothing sizes and how and how ridiculous it all is but anyway sorry got distracted below bar and yeah thank you so much for watching and subscribe and like my video please bye <laughs>